today away days are back as we head to Reading. The home side sit 19th in Skybet League 1 having lost their opening two games both 1-0 to Peterborough United and Port Vale. It's been an unsettled summer for the home side with financial difficulties coming into play. They've been in the news a lot, a lot of incomings, a lot of outgoings. It's going to take time for their squad to settle and get some points on the board I think but today might well be the day. The visitors similarly are yet to score a goal but in all competitions out of the Carabao Cup with a 2-0 loss to Birmingham, a 1-0 loss on opening day away from home to Shrewsbury Town and of course the most recent 3-0 loss on home soil to High Flyers Bolton Wanderers. Of course reinforcements and signings in general are needed ASAP not only to improve the squad but to cover for the injuries that we've picked up since the start of the season. Of course key midfielders Elliot Bonds and James Olienk are both sidelined with long periods of time injured and of course sustain the injuries of the likes of George Lloyd etc from over summer. It is not looking good when it comes to squad depth for us. My score prediction is a 2-1 loss I'm not going to lie, I'm not confident, but I predicted us to score a goal, so absolute scenes. Your score predictions will be on the screen now, as always. Can Reading pick up their first points of the season on home turf, or will Cheltenham pull off a little bit of a shock and get their first points on the board? Only time will tell. Away days are back. Let's head to Reading. So the lineups are now out. Um, Ellis Chapman is starting. Uh, I ain't got anything to say on that. I think you can all tell, Mike. I mean, I hope he proves me wrong. I hope he proves me wrong. Uh, Will Ferry back in the starting eleven, thank God. Um, Curtis Davis still in the back three. I think maybe Bradbury could have. Bradbury deserved the chance. I think he's good enough. He's proved himself. Uh, but, you know, Curtis Davis, hopefully, I mean, I think the last time he was here, he scored a last-minute winner for Derby. So, fingers crossed he can do the same for us. But, see what happens. It's, it's an OK start on 11, but it, it just proves that, that, you look at the bench as well, it just proves we need signings in and fast. I was saying earlier, we've only had one low knee through the door. And usually by this time, we'll have had three or four through the door, and we'll be looking at another one or two to come from. But I don't know where, I don't know where we're at, if I'm honest, but... Fingers crossed we can get these players through the double. Fingers crossed we nice have a decent performance, that's all I can ask. But yeah, see what happens. Let's go to kick off. Good job! Should be on to that. Should have been on to that. There we go. Help him out, lads.
There we go. Oh, great out of well in. Just get it away. Oh, fuck's sake. Get it in. Get it in. Let him run us all. Ooh. Well, then half time, um, I don't really want to talk, so I've got on everyone's favourite. Come on, what was that? Where do I start? We haven't looked like scoring in the past four games of this season. We have no organisation. We're just shit. Um, no one wants to play for the ball. Keener has been playing against us. Uh, Davis is about as slow as a tractor. The circus has been crap all season recently. Hey, yes. We've got um, Chapman who's basically... Well, he wasn't good enough for Oldham last season when we sent him on loan, yet we bring him back into the squad. This Hammond can be a good player, but we can't play him on the right of the midfield who just force balls through to him. We need to play through him. Street's all right, but he's getting shit all service. Genuine thoughts? Without, without the push analysis? Fucking shy. But yeah, going on from what Crom said, horrendous first half. Just just want a bit of fight in the second half. You know, seven halves of football, no goals scored. Two or three shots on target across seven halves. It's shocking. It's absolutely shocking. But fingers crossed for a better second half. Let's get back out there. Hello. Oh, 
We're full time, running one champ now. Uh, we are absolutely finished. Right. Uh, how we can be the better team in the second half and only create one half decent chance, one half decent shot on goal is shambolic. Long ball is not the way to go. I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna take it away from Reading. I thought first half they were decent, but we made it far, far too easy for them today. Best luck to the rest of the season, Reading fans. Of course, over the your fixture against us later this season. But if I'm honest, I'd be surprised if we're, you know, we're still safe by that point in time because that's four games now, no goals, three own goals, um, and we've got Pompey away on Saturday. Woeful, but yeah, best life for us the season. We're in the bin. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Have a catch up today. I'm a safe for Pompey away.